right magicycle community I'm gonna go over some uh, magicycle e-bike overview uh, information for you so I have had the pleasure of owning six magicycle e-bikes I have four right here I have had the cruiser and the cruiser step through the cruiser had been updated and I had made it uh, kind of a quasi cruiser pro but we're gonna start from the beginning and go through all the levels of e-bikes that Magicycle carries and give you an understanding a basic understanding of what you get for your money kind of uh, information so we're gonna start with one that I don't have listed here these bikes range from $800 to $2,500 now when you say $800 to $2,500 if you look at my description, you'll find that there are uh, coupon codes to give you additional cash off the price of the bike you choose. Now, we will start with, which I don't have here, it's called a um, commuter bike. It's the lowest priced e-bike Magicycle has. Uh, it's a single speed. Um, it runs $800. I don't own it, but that's the beginning of the Magicycle lineup. The next thing we're going to have are the Cruiser and the Cruiser Step Through. Those are a little bit more money. Uh, they're 15 amp batteries and manual pull brakes. Decent bikes. My first two were those two bikes and they served me very well. Uh, I sold those because they weren't getting much ride time while I rode these bikes. So from there you go up to the Magicycle Ocelot, not the Ocelot Pro, the Ocelot. The Ocelot has a black and white screen, manual brakes, and a 15 amp battery. That's the things that differentiate the Ocelot from the Ocelot Pro. The Ocelot Pro has a 20 amp battery, color screen, and hydraulic brakes. Those are the most obvious changes in the bike the next thing we're going to step up to is the Jaguar Undi which you see here this bike is about $1,200 um, again look at my coupon uh, below if you want some discounts on whatever the price is that Magicycle is offering it I'm guessing it's $1,200 or $1,300 <clears throat> and with my coupon you'll get some money off on that so the Jaguar Undi is a folding bike uh, it's a 48 volt 600 watt motor on the back this bike is quite capable of 25 miles an hour and uh, it's one of the best bargains you can get because it has hydraulic brakes it's a folding 20 inch bike and it really is a good ride and it does come with the rack then we'll step up next to the Ocelot and the Ocelot Pro Again, the Ocelot Pro has a 20 amp battery, has a color screen, and has hydraulic brakes. Those are the big differences uh, between the Ocelot Pro and the Ocelot. Uh, again, comes with the rack, beautiful bike, and uh, very fun to ride. I'm gonna skip over this one, and I'm gonna move straight up to this one here. Before I get to this one here, though, we're gonna talk about the uh, Cruiser and Cruiser step through pro the cruiser pros are 20 amp batteries hydraulic brakes uh, are the two big advantages of going from the cruiser cruiser step through to the cruiser pro cruiser step through pro um, again go to their website if you want to get uh, a lot of the specs and information on the bikes but the cruiser pro actually right now i think is one of the better bargains that Magicycle offers. Um, my personal feeling is for most people, stay away from the Cruiser uh, 26 inch step through uh, bike. It's just a difficult bike for most people to use unless you're a, an adult male or a large, long legged female. Th then it's an okay bike. But uh, this one here is the Magicycle Deer. 
I don't have the battery in it. It's sitting in the garage. I'm about ready to charge these up, some of these up, and I, I'm taking them for, we're doing a, a ride this weekend, so they're gonna get some riding this weekend. So the Deer, um, what differentiates it from a Cruiser Pro is the fact that it has a rear suspension that allows um, a lot of uh, softer riding in most conditions. That soft suspension adds a bit of money to uh, the bike. Uh, in the neighborhood of four to $600, depending upon uh, some of the specs on it. Um, mine did not come with a rear rack. Oh, on mine, I have a kind of a janky uh, Amazon rear rack on mine. But uh, as for the bike, it's a beautifully built bike. Uh, you can tell the iterations from uh, the cruiser, original cruiser, original step through to the uh, to the deer. It's very nice built bike, very nicely built bike and very smooth, comfortable, fun to ride and quick. The, the bike is very fast. So now we're going to jump over to their latest bike. And I apologize for the jet going through. I'm going to let it pass and I'll come back with you. Okay, it's far enough gone. One of the problems of living by airports. Okay, so the Magicycle 20 inch Deer, um, they changed the name. It used to be the Deer Mini. It is now called the 20 inch Deer Step Through. Also, before I get to that step through, the deer itself comes in a step through model. I have the uh, the upper bar model. I would recommend a step through. I don't care who you are. If you're a male or female, the step through at our ages, and I'm going on 66 now, is a better, uh, easier bike to mount and dismount. Um, so we're going to go to the... 20 inch step through deer and uh, mine is in yellow uh, it's a fantastic bike they have made uh, some changes from all their other bikes to this one uh, still the beautiful color screen is uh, available on this bike it is a beautiful color screen let me tip it back and the the some of the changes are the front headlight has uh, a new design and very uh, well lit bike. Uh, that ring around the outside lights up. And then on the sides, those light up as well. The, uh, the chain ring is a 53 tooth chain ring. Some people uh, still think that it uh, ghost pedals. I can ride it without ghost pedaling because I'm used to going, spinning my legs pretty fast, but I don't ghost pedal on it. Um, but you may still want to put an 11 to 28 uh, freewheel on the back. It is a 28, uh, or it's a 20 amp battery. Um, all these have, except for the Jaguar, they have the same motor uh, spec, 96 Newton meters of torque. That is plenty of torque. If you have not ridden a hub motor bike uh, versus a uh, cadence hub motor bike versus a torque mid-drive or a uh, torque hub motor you're missing out because a uh, cadence sensor when you're older just allows you to lightly pedal and and move so these bikes are also all throttle bikes um, in my early days when i first got my uh, other bikes I thought that throttle bikes were uh, not necessary and just made you not pedal. Um, they do make you not pedal when you don't want to pedal. Um, and that's a good thing because sometimes I don't want to pedal. Sometimes talking to you is more important to me than pedaling. So I use them uh, throttling when I do that. But if you look at these bikes, Magicycle has a very... Uh, wide assortment of bikes to fit your budget and your needs and they range from $800 for the commuter all the way up to $2,500 for that Magicycle uh, 20 inch deer step through that's the $2,500 one 
the deer is $50 less right now. And make sure you look at my description and find coupon codes if you're going to buy these bikes because these are a fabulous bike from a fabulous manufacturer and I highly recommend any of them. They all ride very nice. Uh, I've owned six of them and the six I've owned uh, are great bikes. All right, guys, that's all I have for you on the Magicycle front today. And that's the video for the day. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, share, and subscribe below, and we'll see you on the next episode.